Hey guys and gals, it's Crazy 45 Cat, otherwise known as Jerry, man. We're out here in the hot, the hot hut, not the hot tub. I'm used to saying that. We got some herring line out here around all four corners. I've had a heron trying to live out here. I don't blame them. But it is, uh, what time is it? Almost six o'clock. We got the Siki Bar lit up. We got Fox News on the background. I come out here every day for the first hour when I get home. Hang out with Lucy. Lucy and Crazy. But those are the gods out there. Those are the, the bad guys. And you can see the way my uh, gutters are set up over here. That the water actually runs like a little river. You can see it moving. Right on down over the seawall. It's all clogged up over there. But man, it is raining. Catching dogs. And here's a little video of you on my camera. I'm right there. Uh-oh, where'd it go? I'm right there, a little little deal there. Let's see. Get it going again. I don't care about Venice weather. Come on, go back there. You can see we are getting hammered. That's me right there. That red balloon there in St. Pete. And there are some killer storms coming. And it's blowing from south to north with a little uh, wind to the east. It's really, really bad. I'm nice and wet just from the wind coming in here. Although the sticky hut's dry, I mean, wow. No water in here. Everything is copacetic with TV still running. Talking about our wonderful situation in our world, man. Ain't that just great? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I want to show you here my chair, captain's chair. Sit up here with my feet up on the table there. No shoes, no socks. It's always five o'clock somewhere in here. And my owl's turned around. Ooh, baby. But even though it's raining as hard as it is, and I mean cats and dogs. I saw two float by earlier. Uh, in fact, you look across the way there, you'll see that wind and that rain just blowing through here. It's really relaxing to be in the, in the uh, Tiki Hut while it's raining like that. The temperature has dropped at least 15 to 20 degrees. I don't know if I got a thermometer out here anymore. I'm looking around. Nope. But it's probably, ah, low 80s in the, or high 70s right now. And it's just gorgeous out here in the rain. Gorgeous. I hit my doctor today and uh, he's going on vacation, so I had to go in there a couple weeks early to get my uh, medication for my back which is really killing me. And I'm pretty stressed, boys and girls, pretty stressed. I've got a really big uh, opportunity coming up right now, and if it works out, it's gonna be wonderful. If it doesn't, it's still gonna be wonderful, but a lot less uh, commuting to work for me. You know, my commute's like three miles a day. I don't know, six miles a day, so we're going to cut that in half, if not less, if everything goes through, like I wanted to. Give me a chance to get everything in here, old copacetic, running wonderfully. Pretty much is by itself. Lucy's in the house, she don't like the rain, so she knows how to run around. Whoa! That was bright. Oh, Midas is up there bowling, man. I, bowling for dollars, man. I like it. I think our country's in a mess. Our leadership sucks. I hate, I hope and pray for all these soldiers we're putting back over there in Iraq again. I just don't understand it. And I hope that we get it straight. I'm not sure about posting up with Iran. I, I mean... 
I am not a uh, historian buff by any means. I know right and wrong, and some things aren't right or wrong. And look over there. That's how much rain it is. Here's my neighbor's boat. The bilge pump came on automatically to turn the pump the water out. Mine has to. But there's a lot of water coming off that down underneath there. You can see that stripe of water. I hope we don't get in a trick bag like we did back in the Vietnam days. I'm really discouraged with our leadership. Always have been. And uh, man, if I could fix it, I'd be the, I'd be the fixer. But I, I don't have the qualification for any of that stuff. Uh, neither did the senator from Illinois. So it looks like a crapshoot for our country. And I'm really, really concerned with it. And I feel so bad for young families just starting out. I'm a 60 year old man. I don't, I'm a lot older than most folks on the YouTube thing here and uh, have a lot of knowledge. I, I just, I, my heart goes out to brand new families, the kids that are in their 20s and 30s having kids and seeing what's going on here and the way the government's trying to control health care and everything else right now. You don't have a choice of anything but what they want you to do, uh, unless you are flush with money. It, it ain't gonna happen, so. My prayers go out to, to all the new mothers and fathers, and I mean, wow. And the gods are angry, I tell you. The gods are angry. What I see going on over there in Iraq is going to be very, very bad from my point of view. And there's a lot of vets that watch my channel and a lot of vets on YouTube. Man, get out there and say something about this. You know? I don't care about your paperwork from being a veteran of the, these guys, these fake vets get on the tube and, you know, boast about them being in the military. You know, that would anger me if I was in the military, but I'm not in the military. I don't like to hear what the military has to say about all this bullshit going on with our with our your leader governing our free world here making all these changes on his own and you know what's going to happen is he going to be the new dictator martial law coming up here the new election i'll just swipe the pen and grab my own deal it looks like he's infallible with the attorneys and everybody i i, I don't know i i don't know I got so much going on right now with me and my store and all that I can barely see straight. But I love this country. I'll do whatever I have to do for my country and my family. There's just not a clear choice anymore. I'm not sure what the, what the choices are. Just don't know. I use YouTube for an escape at times, and to share stuff with other people. Sharing what it's about. It's not about e-begging. E-begging is the worst. If you all follow my channel, you know I think about e-begging. You can't get lower than an e-begger. That's a beggar that asks for money or has other people do the same thing on his behalf. That's all e-begging to me. Now, if you want to go ahead and spend, send people money, be my guest and do it. Just don't put my name down there, okay? I'll help a bum on the side of the road. I'll help a family that doesn't have enough food to pay for their groceries. But I'm not going to give any money to some wannabe that wants to go out and do a uh, documentary on my dime. Now go do a documentary, you get a government grant, or go do it on your own. Don't ask other people for your money, or for your vacations, or whatever. That is 100% totally wrong, and I will take that to my grave. That's way, way wrong. You don't take advantage of people, and especially kids. You know, YouTube goes to kids, too, you know? People that have no knowledge, and it's, 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 it's a great learning tool. It's also a great way for adults to uh, exploit kids. And I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. 
say what it is, tell it like it is, tell the truth. Hey, you might not get a lot of people to like you, but that's me. I tell it like it is. I really don't care what other folks say because I have what I want. I have a desire to help people, to show people, to connect with people. And I don't ask for money or support in that area. I think that's 180 degrees out of what YouTube's all about. But that's my uh, little rant. Got a lot of pressure on me right now, boys and girls. I can tell you in September the what's going on, or what I've accomplished by September. But man, I am up till two in the morning, not sleeping, going to work by 7:30. Just not a happy time for the cat. And you know, I'm only drinking on the weekends. We started out last weekend, but you know, I needed a beer tonight, so I came out here to share a uh, Corona Light with a neck full of Bacardi Lima. Actually went to the beer and wine store tonight on the way to my doctor's and bought a case and a couple of bottles of, of uh, Bacardi because I'm going to be drinking tonight and over the weekend. I won't drink tomorrow. I won't drink. I will drink Friday night after 9 o'clock. Have two at least. But Saturday and Sunday. I'm gonna have a, fuck, a couple of uh, adult beverages. Should put a range gauge out there on the dock, but I'm too lazy to do it. But it is pouring out here, pouring. Hasn't stopped for, oh, I'd say, I got home about 4.30, and it was started around four to five. I need to go ahead and put pavers down on this whole side over here. So that water just runs out there and rather than leave a gully. You can see that water running out of there. And that's a ton of water coming onto my property. You can probably catch tadpoles in that water so often when it rains. Alright. calming down a little bit now the wind's not blowing in my face is bad and I was coming from the front of the house you can see that rain sheets of rain my TV went off uh oh alright didn't get wet which is, I think the power surge knocked it out House committee investigations appear to be intensifying after the IRS claimed the computer. I can tell you something. Here we go, more rain. I can tell you something about this rain. It is no fun being caught offshore 20 miles offshore in a rain like this. Antennas are up, the fishing poles are up all around the hot, the uh, parts off, and man, you get the vibrations, it's buzzing and doing this and that. Your electronics gonna act crazy. And you're dressed head to toe in rain gear trying to get back to shore. It is not a happy time. So I've been all over the place out here talking and uh, got water at my feet running out the back here. I got a drain hole that run the water out through the back. Other than the uh, little rant that I had, things are great, man. I was supposed to cook hamburgers on the grill tonight, man. I ain't cooking out in the rain. Hopefully it'll stop here in, a, in an hour that I can cook, but I'm not standing out in the rain cooking. Hot tub is running. What a godsend that is on the weekends, man. What a godsend. If it wasn't lightning, I'd be in it. But you can see my bilge pump kicking on. You can see that pool of water there coming out of my bilge pump. I actually installed a 500 gallon per hour automatic bilge pump to work by itself automatically as opposed to the two 1500 gallon per hour pumps I have in the boat. I had a little 500 way in the back of my, ooh, back of my uh, bilge right up against the transom and whatever water gets in there that pump comes in first, 
and barely draws anything to pump the boat out. And when we run, run the boat, as you're running, that little catch of water runs from the bow back to the stern, you know, once I run it. Uh, anything that's in the boat is out there, so when you stop at your spot, the boat is bone dry. You don't want water in the bilge when you're fishing. I can't uh, tell people more about that. All right, man, I'm soaked. Got my shirt on, I changed my pants when I came in here. Let's see. So you know it's me. My hair's all wet. What hair I got left is wet, man. Something else. There's something else. I dry this camera off. This is my new camera. So just so that you know, when I come out there, I sit in my chair over here, on this chair over there, play the ball with Lucy up and down the yard, and we just hang out here for an hour every night. Sometimes I put my boat radio on that I have in here. 12 volt radio. Some nice kicks in there, nice speakers. Um, plus I have speakers on the house. That radio is running as we speak. And we hang out for the first hour every night. Just to relax. Then I bring her in, feed her and crazy cat and uh, wait for you to get home. Nassau Grouper, oh yeah. Sure doesn't make a difference having this hut out here, I tell you. In the heat of the day, it's 10 degrees cooler inside here. Alright, enough about that. I had to, uh, hey, but a gun thing. I had to, uh, I called um, Midway last night, USA, looking for my Smith & Wesson 669 magazines, and uh, they told me it would be November. So I think they were $33 a piece. I ordered three of them. I immediately got off line with them and uh, got my confirmation that the order was canceled. Went to Smith & W. Uh, and I ordered three from there. It's gonna cost me, I think it's $20 more. It's 143 delivered for three to 12 round mags, which I don't mind spending the money on because I want that gun to run. And uh, a little disappointed because they said they had them. They're coming in June. The guy said, oh, we got an update. They won't be there till November. So I said, well, the hell with that, buddy. Cancel the order. So I should have had the mags shipped out today from Massachusetts, Texas, and I'll probably get them uh, maybe next week sometime. As soon as I do, I'll bring my gun to work with me, and I'll get those mags. I have a box of ammo with me all the time, and we'll uh, run out to the police range and fire that thing off. See what's cracking with that 669. Then I'm going to take it down to my buddy that makes Kydex holsters and have him make me a nice inside the waist band holster for that gun. I really, really like the uh, that double action only trigger that, that sets back to the single action for the first shot with the, uh, oh, there's more water. I'm telling you, there's a ton of water out here. Um, I like the double strike capability of that gun. That's why I bought the gun way back when. And that was right around the time when the Glocks were out, you know? So I think I had my first Glock. And then I bought that Smith & Wesson in 86, I'm sure, when it first came out. Had it for two or three years before it was stolen. And I'm um, happy to tell you that I'm glad I got it back. It was one of my all-time favorite carry guns. I like having the option to be able to uh, cock that back to touch that hammer to do a single shot like that. But I'll show you the proof in the pudding when I uh, get the camera out there at the range and show you how that thing works. It's, to me, it's one of the best shooting guns I've ever had and I can't believe I waited 20 years to get another one, or 15. 
wasn't living here when it was stolen. When I was living here, my dog Cuba fell off the seawall right over there by the table. That down into the uh, rubble down there, all the oyster shells. While I was at work, and my wife took the dog to the vet, left the car open, and I had one of my Charter Arm 44 Specials stolen out of my truck with the really, really nice Safari Land holster. And that's never returned. Cuba was good, healed up, and we had the party that night, but wow. Couldn't believe that she uh, left my truck open like that, but that's what happens. All right, letting down a little bit, I'm gonna hit the old umbrella. You think I can come out here without an umbrella, do you? Get the umbrella up and go in the house, finish this beer, and uh, check on these burgers I'm supposed to be cooking. You can see this water, though. You can see that moving. It's like a creek. The elevation goes that away on an angle. So does my deck. The problem I have is my neighbor's got his all his gutters plumbed into my garden over here. So a lot of this water is coming out of his garden, ruining my seawall. A lot of pressure on my seawall. But we'll get it sorted out. All right, that's it for me. Hope I bored you enough over that. Hey, and don't support these e-beggars, please, guys. Do not support these e-beggars. It's the worst thing you can do. I mean, if you feel obligated to give an e-beggar money, go ahead and give it to them. But I'm telling you, nothing good comes out of giving money to people that beg for it. You look at most major charities, even the Red Cross, all the charities for the, uh, let's talk about Haiti. Only 20% of the pledged money gets there. The rest of it goes into the owner's pocket. So when you see these grandiose plans about going around the country and doing all this stuff because I want to do it for you, don't believe that shit. He wants to do that for you and, and fill his pocket. So before you send any money, please do a double check. Do an EDC check. Make sure you get your shit together. That's my advice for these e-beggars. And there's a couple of them doing it right now. Uh, if you look at my channel, you'll see the e-beggars in my favorite list. All right. I'm going in through the rain, back to the house, and I'll... Catch you guys later. See ya. Have a great weekend. The fourth is on the way. Ooh-wee.